Welcome back, I'm Drone Tech, and today we're going to take a look at this brutal carjacking and murder that occurred over the weekend in Washington, D.C. We had two black teen girls who carjacked a 66-year-old Pakistani Uber Eats driver, a guy who was just trying to work and put food on the table for his family. During the carjacking, they tased him and then sped off with him hanging out the window. The car crashed and Mr. Anwar was thrown from the vehicle and killed. The entire incident was caught on video, but I don't particularly want to show that, but I'll put a link to that in the description. Now, let me just be perfectly clear about one thing. I'm not interested in the races of the people involved here. But unfortunately, the Democrat Party state media has made skin color the focus of all crimes that they choose to cover. This is a story they couldn't avoid, and you know that they couldn't be upfront and honest about the details, so predictably, deception is the word of the day. But before we get into this, let me quickly tell you about this new free offer for my viewers. One of the first commitments made by the new administration is the $2 trillion spending on environmental concerns. With renewables like solar panels, wind turbines, and even batteries for a electronic vehicles, the use of silver will soar. But of course, we don't have enough silver to cover the demand. They said it would take 5.62 million tons of silver to meet all our energy needs. The world's current known official silver reserves that can be assumed to be recoverable from mines is estimated to be less than 600,000 tons. And that is good for investors and the price of silver. If you're thinking of an IRA or a 401k, now is the time to look at silver. And this month, with every gold or silver IRA, they're giving away one of these incredible 5 ounce solid silver Apollo 11 memento coins with every silver IRA that started. Click on the Noble Gold link in the description or pinned comment right now and learn more about future proofing your investments. Auto theft is a crime of opportunity. Follow these steps to reduce the risk of your vehicle becoming a target. Remember the motto, protect your auto. Are you fucking kidding me? This is the mayor of Washington, D.C., blaming the victim of this heinous crime for apparently not reducing his risk and becoming a target. Because, you know, these things just happen. I guess you couldn't think of any mind-warping mental gymnastics to blame white supremacy, so blaming the victim was the next best thing. This shit show doesn't stop here, folks. CNN did their part on Twitter, dismissing the murder as an accident. Police said the girls, 13 and 15, assaulted an Uber Eats driver with a taser while car carjacking him, which led to an accident in which he was fatally injured. An accident? Which accident was that? Where the girls carjacked the old man? When they tasered him, then sped off with him hanging out of the car? Oh no, how stupid of me. Those are just the effects of systemic racism. It's very clear here that the car became self-aware and crashed, killing this elderly old man just trying to feed his family. And if you think otherwise, that's just colonizer whiteness using logic and reason, which we all know are tools of white supremacy. I love Mark Dice's comment here, which sent the left-wingers into convulsions, exposing their complete lack of self-awareness. People who blame Everything bad that happens on Earth to white people upset that someone points out what the CNN article purposely avoided. And in regards to the media deflecting from the skin color of the murderers in this case, check out ABC's contribution to the muddied waters, where they make no mention of the girl's skin color, but prominently display a picture showing a white person in handcuffs. It even looks like a kid to go along with the byline. Or how about this Yahoo News White House correspondent that finds the sharing of this story to be the work of white white supremacist, saying, quote, There's a lot of far-right commentators sharing this horrific story and highlighting the fact that the perpetrators were black. But there are also more mainstream conservatives sharing this story, including from outlets like the Daily Caller and the GOP operatives. In some cases, they're copying videos taken directly from far-right, explicitly racist voices, including the popular Gab and Telegram accounts. Anyone who truly thought Anwar's life mattered would not use his death to make straw man arguments in some unreal related political argument? I mean, really? 
This is literally what they do with every single police shooting of a black person while always ignoring when it happens to a white person. Okay, I'm sure there are lots more examples of this victim blaming and attempts to deflect, but since I'm banned from Twitter, it's kind of hard for me to find. Feel free to post some examples in the comments or in the community post I made on this topic. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you all for tomorrow's video.